Today's topic is alcaptonuria. Alcaptonuria is a rare genetic disorder that is characterized by the accumulation of homogentistic acid, or HGA, in the body. Affected individuals' body can't produce enough of an enzyme called homogentistic dioxygenase, or HGD, used to break down homogentistic acid. This results in the buildup of homogentistic acid in the body. The condition is estimated to occur in one in every 250,000 people, but is more common in Slovakia and the Dominican Republic. Although this condition does not reduce life expectancy, it significantly affects the quality of life. Causes Alcaptonuria is a genetic disorder, inherited in an autosomal recessive genetic pattern. An autosomal recessive genetic pattern is one of the several ways that a trait disorder can be passed down through families. Autosomal recessive occurs when two abnormal genes are inherited, one from each parent. This means that both parents must carry the defective gene and transmit the gene to the child for the child to have the condition. A mutation in the HGD gene for the enzyme homogentistate 1, 2 dioxygenase causes the condition. This defect makes the body unable to process or break down the amino acids phenylalanine and tyrosine. As a result, the body accumulates an intermediate substance called homogentistic acid in the blood and other body tissues. Symptoms Dark discoloration of the urine. This is usually present from birth and may appear on the baby's diaper as dark stains. The urine of affected individuals turns black upon long-standing exposure to air. Additional symptoms usually develop in middle adulthood, around age 30, when joint and other problems occur. These symptoms are due to chronic accumulation of homogentistic acid in connective tissues. They may include discoloration of the sclera, or white in the eyes, this pigmentation does not interfere with vision. Chronic joint pain and inflammation, or arthritis, especially in the spine and large joints. This can be severe and disabling. Kidney stones, which develop in 50% of affected individuals over 64 years of age. Prostate stones in men. Dark-colored sweat or sweat stains. Thickened, irregular, and discolored gray or black cartilage in the ears blue speckled discoloration of the skin, heart disease, which may result from the accumulation of homogentistic acid within the mitral or aortic valves, hardening of the blood vessel, which may raise the risk of high blood pressure. Diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosis is made upon identification of characteristic symptoms, detailed patient history, and thorough clinical evaluation. Alcaptonuria is usually suspected in individuals with dark urine after exposure to air. A test called gas chromatography mass spectrometry analysis may be used to look for traces of homogentistic acid in your urine. Identification of elevated levels of the acid may be suggestive of the condition. Genetic testing to detect mutations in the HGD gene can also be used. An echocardiogram may be recommended for individuals over 40 to detect cardiac complications. Imaging tests, such as CT scan, can also be recommended. Treatment. No specific treatment exists for the condition. Treatment options are, however, aimed at the specific symptoms present in each individual, as well as preventing and relieving possible complications, such as arthritis, heart disease, and kidney stones. They may include severe restriction of protein intake, you may be put on a low-protein diet. Large doses of vitamin C may be recommended. This hinders the accumulation and deposition of homogentistic acid. Anti-inflammatory medications for joint pain. Physical and occupational therapy to help maintain flexibility and strength in the muscles and joints. At some point, surgery may also be needed. It has been reported that about half of people with the condition will need a knee, hip, or shoulder replacement often by age 50 or 60. Surgery may also be needed to replace the aortic or mitral heart valves if they stop working well. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.